Hello, if we're meeting for the first time, I'm Joshua with Kids Ministry Tools. And today we have an object lesson on kindness. Let's get right into it. With this object lesson, all you need is some salt, some eggs, and one jar filled with water, and another one with water and salt. So, here's the story. So in Luke chapter number 10, Jesus tells us a story about a man who was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho. But on his journey, he got attacked by some thieves. They took off his clothes, they beat him, they took his animal that he was riding on, they just left him half dead. Well, later in the day, a priest comes by. And I'm sure in the mind of that young man, he was thinking, praise God, I can get rescued. But no, that priest went by on the other side I'm not sure what the priest was thinking. Maybe he looked at him and saw, ooh, that's gross. Maybe he just thought it stank. I don't know. But the Bible says he passed by on the other side. Then a little while later, a Levite came by. He's like, oh yes, this is somebody of the church. This is somebody that's gonna help me. And he went on the other side. And again, I don't know what the Levite was thinking, and I don't know what the young man was thinking, but if I was the young man laying there half dead, I would be like, please, somebody just show me some kindness. Somebody just show me how to be, somebody show me kindness. Somebody treat me right. But nobody did. And then later, finally, somebody that normally wouldn't have dealings with a Jew came by and helped him. And we know him as the Good Samaritan. That's right. The Samaritan showed him kindness. The Bible says he wrapped up his wounds put him on his own animal, and he took him all the way to Jericho, his destination. And there, he put him in a hotel, paid for the hotel, and told the innkeeper, whatever the cost is, while I, when I get back, I'll pay it. He took care of the man. What did he show him? Kindness. The Bible says in Ephesians 4, 32, he says, and be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. You see, in our object lesson today, these eggs represent people. And if you're not careful, you don't have kindness inside of you, and therefore you put people down. And if you're not careful, you start to think bad about others and you put them down. Maybe they don't dress like you and you, you voice it. Maybe they're um, not in shape and you voice it. Maybe they are a different, uh, maybe they speak a different language. Maybe they have a long nose but still you're unkind to them. Do you like it when somebody's unkind to you? I don't, okay? And so we put them down. Why? The Bible says that ye are the salt of the world. Ye are the salt. So that being said, we need to have some salt in the world. And when we have salt in the world, we have salt in our lives, or so to say, we have kindness in our life, and we are kind when others come along, instead of, putting them down, we lift them up. We edify them. We bring them to where they should be. We encourage them. We put them in, in our seat next to us in church. We tell them hello. We're respectful. We are kind individuals. Or are we the kind that puts people down? Well, you know what? You are an ugly egg. I mean, no, we shouldn't do that. We should be kind one to another. He said, and be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. A Christian, which one are you? Are you full of kindness? Or are you full of putting other people down? Well, I don't like the way that they look. I don't like the way they talk. I don't like, well, forget all of that and be kind. Be kind with your words. Be kind with your actions. Are you filled with kindness? Or are you filled with bitterness and malice and anger and wrath? The Bible says to put it all away from you. So. Simple object lesson on kindness. Again, all you need is some salt inside of one cup, an uh, empty cup of just filled with just water, and the salt's cheap. I mean, I think this is like 40 cents at Walmart right now, and some eggs, and it's just that simple. Hey, if you like our channel, go ahead and hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, and there's plenty of other videos here. Check this one out. Hope this was a blessing. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.